All right, since we have things out being painted, next step, we are going to finish this. We have this pin here, this uh, bumper pin, I think is what most people will refer to it as, at least here in the States. And we need to be able to push it up in here like so from the bottom. This used to go in from the top, but obviously the winch is in the way. And we made a hole here. I had TJ make a hole here in the bottom so we could fit that bumper pin up through there, but it is not big enough. So I just need to make that hole slightly bigger so we can fit this pin all the way up in there and then I'll chop this down and make it smaller. So to do that, I'm gonna pull off the winch and the whole front bumper and recut the hole. Adjustment, a little bit bigger hole. Hold that down. Ooh, yeah, and now. Sweet. All right, while we have this thing off, doing a little spot painting. Uh, had some areas rubbed raw by the chains from when we had it towed. And then here's the uh, All right, so we want to put this thing up in here, like so. I think I want the handle in this orientation sideways. I'm gonna chop this down and move this handle up, re-weld it on there. I mean, there's really never gonna be any force on this handle, because obviously that just slides in and out, so um, it's, it's not even really necessary, as far as I'm concerned. Now, this piece used to be here and that would create some friction as you put it in you would normally do it from the top like so and then this thing would hold friction on that and then you would turn it and then the keyway here which is gone I've ground off at this point but there's a little keyway here that would keep it from coming out and then this would keep it kind of in place and it's really not gonna bounce all the way up there anyway. So that worked fine. But obviously, this spring is not going to hold this in place with it gravity. It's too, too heavy, and when the road gets bumpy, it's gonna be a problem. So what I wanna do is drill a hole here so I can put this pin through, and then we'll button it up like so and then that should most definitely hold that in place now i'm going to give it a little bit of space i think what i might do is get a little rubber washer and put that on here so that when this is sitting there when it vibrates it doesn't make a ton of noise banging up and down if it vibrates at all i'm not sure if that's going to be a problem so first thing we got to do though is i've got a mark here we're going to drill a hole through there so i can put this pin in and this may not be the final solution but I'll be able to put something through there and then it'll be fairly easy to take off and then pull this out if I need to. So this is pretty <laughs> janky, but I need to really get a, a, a vise for a, a drill, drill press vise. There you go. Set for mild steel. Let's see what happens. Here, go 
so we got everything back on. Got the new step plates. Those look nice. Got the newly painted bumper with the cutout a little larger so we can fit the pin. Pin goes through nicely. Fits through our uh, little hook there. Got the clip there. And we got the winch mounted again. So yeah, I had this winch mounted on the truck, I don't know, four months, maybe three months, not that long. Went through some weather. So this is kind of, you can see the, uh, got a little bit of rust there, these bolts. Thinking about maybe replacing those with stainless. You got some on the back as well. These are probably just supporting this. I can't imagine that, well, that is steel though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they need to be, if I can go stainless, that'll be, they'll be weaker. This is definitely discolored quite a bit. That started off as black. Uh, these bolts definitely rusted. I uh, got that off of there and you can see some definitely some rust in here. And then this, this is just plastic. I bet if I steel wooled this or something, it'd probably get back. Actually, that might not be plastic. That might, I don't know, it's hard to tell. That's actually metal or plastic. I mean, it worked fine. And then the rope, of course, got bleached out from the sun. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to actually being able to use it though. So, if you're curious, the reason I have not hooked this up yet, electrically, is because I need to run these thick cables. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go a little bit thicker than this, but I need to run them back to the battery box here. And I've got a fuse I wanna put on here as well for that. And I also have a, an Anderson uh, plug that I wanna put on the winch so I can unplug it when I'm not using it, just for safety. Uh, the problem is, is that we need a new exhaust and I want to do a spiral exhaust or a cowl style exhaust and mount that here hopefully. So then if I do that here, I'll have to move the battery box somewhere else. And until I have a, a permanent location for the battery box, I don't want to run any wires to it because those thick wires are going to be very expensive and obviously I don't want to have to recut them and re put new lugs on them and all that. So um, yeah, that's kind of how these things work. These things start to stack up behind one issue. So I've been looking for a muffler, got to find that. Once I can get the muffler, mount that. Once that's mounted, put the battery box in the best place possible. Once the battery box is done, we can run the wires for the winch. And there's a bunch of other electric stuff I want to do too, uh, like the battery cutoff switch. Same problem. Uh, I could put the switch in, but then I can't run the wires yet until I know where this is going to go. See ya. All right, next up, we're going to cut this off right there. And for those of you who know how expensive these are, <laughs> you kind of probably uh, take this a little more seriously. Definitely not the prettiest thing, but we are done. That has been reattached, grinded down. We're just gonna paint it now. Let's go test fit it for the last time. Boom, it's been done painted. So we have a shorter handle. I think it ends up looking pretty much exactly the same as it looked before.
think that project is officially done. It also can spin all the way around if we need to. And it doesn't hit this. Kind of sits in that groove and then up here that kind of catches. So that should be fine. <laughs>